Understanding this can improve your relationship and make your relationship much better. When you focus on what you do have in the relationship and what does work and what compliment you can give, your relationship can become much better. Not in one time, you know, it's not, it's not a one time compliment. It's like an investment, it's compound interest. Every time you focus on something again and again, eventually it builds up to something much stronger. But if every time you'll just focus on what's wrong with your partner, what are they not doing good? Or what are you not connecting to your partner? You know, I'm not connecting to this quality, that quality, how he looks, how she looks. Not only that you won't grow your relationship and make it much stronger, you're actually going on a path of destroying your relationship. Yes, you might still live together, but number one, you'll miss the potential of a happier relationship because if you're together, I guess you have that potential. Number two, you might even suffer more because you're together. So you're supposed to be in some way happier because you're with someone you appreciate, but you'll feel much worse. You'll feel even much more lonely because you're not really alone. You're with someone and alone. So that, that's actually much, much worse. I spoke to a friend, it wasn't so, uh, I guess it was a few months ago, also about relationships and you know, we're, we're all in that game. And we started talking about all these people that he's meeting and every time he, he told me about, you know, I'm, I'm not connecting to her, to her about, you know, this quality and then she doesn't look like that way and this way and every time there was something that was bothering. Now, all of us, there we have ways to create a better relationship, okay? It's not this secret that is, you know, this the top 1% have that secret, how to create a better relationship, no. All of us can do it. And the thing is, also all of us focus many times, including me, focus on things that ruin our relationship. So wh why is that? And I asked my friend, like, do you want a relationship, yes or no? He said, yeah, of course I want a relationship. Like, wh why are you even asking that question? You see how many times I go out and I try again and again. And you know, every time I go out and we have another coffee, well, coffee. And I just it's it's never working because you know now her smile is she she's cute but I don't really like her smile and then the next one uh, she has a nice smile but you know she she's not alive enough she's not enthusiastic so I said it doesn't matter what if we'll and I told him also about myself if if you will always focus in, and also if I will always focus in the relationship and what I want but is not there I'll never really be happy because secret we're human beings as human beings we have flaws and there will always be things we need to improve that's part of the beauty of the relationship that there are always things to improve and i told him try try to look at it you know like it is an investment right when you go and you invest your money in the stock market or whatever you want compound interest what basically what that means we won't go into now investing but every time you earn some money that money earns more money I told him the same thing in relationships. If you have the core values that are similar, of course, there'll also be some that are different. Now the focus is, okay, there's this basic connection. Now focus on what do you connect in the human being that is across? Because I told him again, I, I did it for years and I still do it sometimes. <laughs> and again, it doesn't matter if you're married or single. If you're single, so now we, when you want to create that relationship, so focus on what, what you do have in the relationship. If you're married, it's you know even more important because the fact you're married doesn't mean that you're happier or you're in a good relationship. I think they say 50% of relationships, even though they stay together, they're not really happy together. So start focusing on what you do have in the relationship. I told them, okay, now you're going out. I understand, okay, you're not connecting to many different things in the person that is across, but don't forget the same thing also with them. I could promise you that they're also not connecting to all of your qualities and all of your characters. So focus, focus on what you do connect to. You decide to be right now, you decide to be with your wife, partner, you decide to go out, focus on what you do connect. And then he told me about, yeah, you're like, but I don't connect to so many things. I said, okay, but the, the all, the, if, if that's where your focus is, there will always be things you won't connect to. So. Just let's let's try to you know something new. I told him until now you tried to get someplace, you tried to create a relationship. It didn't work, right? Why didn't it work? For many different reasons. But one of them is every time we speak, he told me about what you're not connecting in that person. So I told him, what do you care? Let, let's try something new. Your way didn't work until now. Also my way. So 
I was with you, you know, on the same ship of, of trying to understand where is the better girl, where is the girl that can be a better connection with. So let, let's try something new and focus on basically the things that we do connect to. And then actually it was funny, we spoke uh, not so long ago and he said, you know what, I just went out with a girl and yes, you know, of course there are things we didn't connect to and I'm sure she also didn't connect to everything in me. But there was a lot of things that I saw that I said, wow, amazing, like, you know, I connected to this character. Uh, we had a good evening last night. Uh, the following morning, you know, we had a, a, a good breakfast together. And then slowly he saw that there are many things that he does connect into his partner. Now the thing is, all of us, okay, like I said at the beginning of the video, having only, you know, one thing to focus on, that won't be enough. Because if until now we built so much negativity in the relationship, a little bit more coffee, you know, just focusing that one breakfast that won't hope and change the whole story. But if every time we focus on another small thing that we connect in the relationship, another adventure we had together, you know, another time that we went to visit friends and family and we had a good time. So eventually that compounds, okay, it's another small thing that was enjoyable, another one, another one, another one, another one. And then slowly we'll, we're building a strong structure of things that we did together and we connected to or characters and values that we connect uh, to our partner and that's much stronger than this one act or one character or one value and eventually when we focus over there so we'll see that it's not just one thing it's we just now build a whole base you know a strong structure for the relationship to grow now yes there'll be times in the relationship for sure 100% that we'll have arguments and, we, and we'll have a, a challenging day, a hard day, you know, that, that's part of the relationship. The relationship is one of the best places for growth because it's like a mirror to us where we need to improve. Now we can't take relationship to a place of saying, okay, she's in charge or only I'm in charge. We're both in the picture, but we're in charge of 100% of our 50% in the relationship. So the same thing over here, next time that there'll be a challenge and there'll be a harder time. The fact that we build that compound interest into the relationship of different habits, different values, characters that we connect to each other, it would help us not only, you know, go through that challenge, even grow from it. Now, I'm sure some of you are telling me, but you have no clue where I'm going in my relationship. It's like hell. I can't, you know, can't be with him anymore. I can't be with her anymore. Okay, I don't think you know that we should save the relationship and you know, it's, it's not like it's priceless, okay, we must stay together. No, there are times that relationships need to end and it's better that way. There are more times that we're ending relationships that could be really good, but there's no reason to end them, we just, we don't do the work. So yes, there are times like we said, you know, enough is enough, but most of the times it's just that, in, including me, that we don't do the work in order to improve the relationship because we can't really, you know, many times we'll see someone that looks like a better potential for a relationship, but we can't really know that until we actually get to know them. You know, it's not, okay, we saw them on the street, so now they look like, like a nice person, they look good, maybe she or he will be better. It doesn't work that way. Only after we put the work in so we can know if there's a potential for a better relationship over there. So if you're in that type of relationship that is going really bad right now, ask yourself a pretty simple question. Was there any time in the relationship that there was good connection? If yes, okay, wh what can you do in order to restore that? Start building that compound interest, some more compliments, invest more time and energy in your partner, and many different things that with time will build to something stronger. Now, if there's no one to work with and you see you're doing all the work alone, Maybe it is time to cut off the relationship and to continue. Again, I don't know what's your case, but like I said, there are times that it's better to do that, but there are much more times that if we will put in the work in the relationship, not only that the situation will be better right now from what it is, it might even be much better than the best time that you had before. Because the more work you put into something, the more you appreciate whatever it is that you put the work into. So whether it's the work that you do you know, in your job, you work more, you'll see more, more results, of course, if, if you do it the right way. Same thing in the relationship. So try to think right now on your relationship, whether you're having a great relationship, you want to have a, even a better relationship, whether re the relationship is not going that well and you want it to be much better. Start thinking on what can you focus in your mind 
and what, what do you connect to in the relationship? What do you connect to in your partner? Okay, now there's two different things. There's what do you connect to in your relationship? Things that you do together that you connect and you say, well, you know, we have, we have a good time when, do, when whenever we do that. Try to do more of that. And what do you connect in your partner? It is qualities that belong to your partner, nothing to do with you, that you connect to. Now, the more you focus on what there is in the relationship and what you do connect in your partner, you'll see that you strengthen the connection. There's a saying, wherever your focus goes, energy flows. So if you focus on whatever there isn't there, so your energy will be down because you don't have things that you want. And that's a different story, but no one said that what you want is basically also what you need. It's many times it's different things. But if you focus on things that you do appreciate in the relationship or in your partner, so you'll see that way you, sh you strength your appreciation to your partner, to the relationship. And then you grow and you create a better and happier relationship. When you live in a relationship that you're satisfied with, so then you could also tap into your inner potential and let your world, not only your world and your partner's world, but also the world of the people around you because you come and bring much more light to the world. I hope you enjoyed the video and you got some tools to overcome your challenges and light your path. For us to help other people, please press that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget that the most amazing things in life are the one you take for granted.